Hi everybody, my name is Richard Obrik and welcome to this tutorial on the POP Toolbox. This is the first in a series of tutorials regarding the use and functionalities of the POP Toolbox. And um, in this tutorial I will be um, talking to you about how to install POP and how to update POP and what type of um, structure it has within the MATLAB environment. Later on there, is also, there are also videos on uh, the specific functionalities, namely the problem solver, generator and the problem library of the um, uh, of the pop toolbox now in order to download the pop toolbox you gotta go to the website paroc.tamo.edu and uh, here you can click on the software button and um, here you can see uh, we have down here as well the videos that I was just talking about and um, here you can click on the button download pop and once you click on this button the function install pop will be downloaded directly to your normal download location that you download anything from when you download from the internet. Now for me this is the desktop, so here we have the file that I just downloaded. Now I take this and I put this in my normal environment that I have here, that I'm used to. And um, now I go into my command window of MATLAB. And once I'm here you can see I'm already in the folder. Of course you have to go into the folder that you install pop uh, that you have your install pop to them inside and you can run now this file and you just have to press to type in install pop and press enter and this will give you this prompt where you can decide whether you want it to be installed in the MATLAB toolbox folder or browse know that it's important that you in order to install it in the MATLAB toolbox folder you need to have uh, administrative rights because on your computer because otherwise this won't work in our case, let's just say browse. So we browse and we say, no, we call it new pop in a folder. So we, so we create a new folder, call it new pop. Run, and we select folder. And now it is installed. So as you can see now, pop, pop was successfully installed. Um, in this case, it now took about six minutes. Um, I've cut out that part because it was just installing. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to show the progress of the installation at this stage in, pi in time. However, um, in general, we would just suggest that you just click, uh, press install and just let it install. Um, if there's any problem, it will give you an error message, and if that should occur, just let us know at parok at tamu.edu. Um, but now, as you can see, we have this successfully installed, and in our um, folder that we have chosen right here, new pop, we can go right here. This is the way pop is structured. So we have uh, three folders figures, files, and library. Now, the figures folder pretty much has the um, pictures that are displayed from the in the user in the graphical user interface uh, I will show you that in a minute files features all the different files um, that you can um, f from the um, uh, all the different files all the different uh, algorithms and so on and so forth um, if you downloaded this from the website um, then you will notice that there is there dot m and dot p files um, this is because the .p files are encrypted, and so they're read only. Uh, they're they can only be used. They cannot be accessed or read. Um, last but not least, we have the problem library here with the four um, test sets that are currently included, as well as here we have the user manual and the uh, graphical user interface. Now let's briefly have a look at the graphical user interface. Now. By the way, it's a very it's a good idea to have to switch the warning signs off uh, because that might print out a lot of unnecessary warnings within Pop. Now this is the uh, parametric optimization toolbox. You have the three functionalities: solver, library, and generator. As I said, there is um, uh, there are videos for each one of those how those are used. If you have any questions, um, you can uh, look at of course at the user manual, and if this doesn't answer it. Um, just email us um, at parok at 
www.tamil.eu or visit our website. Um, we're more than happy to take any of your comments. It would be great. Just let us know what you think. And um, if you want to know what's the version and so on and so forth, uh, we have also an about button up right here. Um, for the user manual, you can see here we have the. This is the user manual, which you can also, um, yeah, look into detail, and it features all the details of the um, of the software, which together with the paper and uh, this these videos should give you a pretty good idea of um, of what is happening. Now, once you've obtained pop, the second part is in case there should be new versions or when there will be new versions of pop um, these can be obtained directly from here you just have to type update pop and press enter and this again will con uh, connect to the server and will check whether or not there is a new version uh, this also takes some time unfortunately we have no way of showing the progress of the update as well but this um, should take about a minute or two roughly and then it should tell you what's the newest version in this case it is the latest version of pop obviously because we just downloaded it and the answer is zero in the sense that it was no update was performed if the, an update is performed then the answer of that run will be one uh, with this I'd like to conclude and if you have any comments or questions regarding POP, any of its functionalities or anything regarding its use, just let us know at parok.tamo.edu and I invite you to explore the rest of the videos which go into much more detail regarding the different functionalities of POP.